From a blistering start to the season to a tough night against the Atlanta Dream, the Indiana Fever's recent game was a roller coaster ride that almost ended in a back to back loss. But here's how Caitlin Clark shocked everyone. The Indiana Fever found themselves in an unfamiliar position early in the game against the Atlanta Dream. The team's usual accuracy from the field was missing, leading to a significant scoring drought that set the tone for a tough first half. This was not the fever we've grown accustomed to seeing, especially with stars like Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston, who have been lighting up the scoreboard all season. The tight defense from the Dream played a crucial role in stopping the fever's offense. The Atlanta Dream's defensive strategy was particularly strong, locking down the fever and limiting their scoring opportunities. This defensive focus was evident in the way they kept the fever 16 points down in the third quarter, making a comeback seemed impossible and unlikely. The Dream's defense was relentless, forcing the Fever to work hard for every point, and it showed in the Fever's frustration and lack of rhythm on the court. At halftime, Caitlin Clark stormed into the tunnel, where we all thought it was going to be one of those moments she was going to be throwing tables and water bottles. But Coach Christie Side said she managed to control her emotions this time. Coming out into the third quarter, the girls literally looked asleep. They had no drive, no passion, and didn't look like they wanted to play ball at all. Players like Lexi Hull and Kelsey Mitchell, who have been having a great season, were also off their games. Hull's rise has been rapid, and her efficiency from three has been a game-changer for the fever. Kelsey Mitchell and Caitlin Clark normally come through with their three-point shots and pressure, but not in this game, especially not in the third. With 13 turnovers to the Dreams one in the first half, the Fever found themselves in a tough spot. These turnovers not only gave the Dream additional scoring opportunities, but also disrupted the Fever's flow and made it harder for them to get into a rhythm. The Fever's high turnover rate has always been a big concern, and it's something they keep saying they will address, but has yet to be done. Despite being down by 16 points in the third quarter, the Fever managed to mount a significant comeback leading into the fourth, where they woke up and took control again. Caitlin Clark hit a desperate three that seemed to turn the tide, and the team started to rally behind her. In their recent loss to the Minnesota Lynx, Clark had demonstrated her ability to lead the offense, scoring 25 points, and this game against the Dream was no different, as Clark's leadership and determination were instrumental in the Fever's comeback. Clark's ability to handle pressure and her impact on team dynamics are just the beginning of her impressive start in the WNBA. When the game is on the line, you need a key player to step up and take control, and that's exactly what Caitlin does. When the game was tied in the fourth, Aaliyah Boston made a smart play with just a few seconds left on the clock to get the ball to Caitlin. This move allowed Caitlin to get the ball with only four seconds remaining, which is when the Dream fouled her intentionally, giving her two free throws. Caitlin's in the top four free throw shooters in the league, and because of this, drains four free throws that give the Fever the 100-104 to victory in their first overtime game of the season. Caitlin didn't buckle under this pressure. She went to the line, did her routine, and nailed every shot. This is why she is the real rookie of the year. What also truly sets Caitlin Clark apart from her peers is her exceptional court vision and playmaking skills. Clark's ability to set up plays is nothing short of remarkable. She has a keen eye for spotting open teammates and delivering the ball to them in positions where they can score easily. This skill is proven by her record-breaking 19 assists in a single game, a feat that showcases her exceptional passing ability and vision on the court. Her high basketball IQ allows her to read the game exceptionally well, navigating through tight defenses. She has a knack for finding the smallest openings and exploiting them to create scoring opportunities for her teammates. This intelligence on the court has been crucial in helping the Indiana Fever's offense thrive, even against some of the toughest defenses in the league. Most teams double-team, and sometimes even triple-team her to try and prevent her from scoring, but somehow, she still pulls it off. After this game, the debate over Rookie of the Year has essentially been settled. Clark's dominant performance and statistical edge over other rookies, such as Angel Reese, have made her the clear favorite for the award.
Reese, despite having a phenomenal season herself, cannot match Clark's all-around impact on the game. Clark's ability to influence the game in multiple ways, scoring, passing, and creating opportunities for teammates, makes her an unparalleled rookie. Tyrese Halliburton was sitting courtside where he had just come from seeing the Colts season opener, to then seeing Caitlin Clark destroy the dream in an impressive comeback. Tyrese was visibly impressed and speechless by Clark's skills. He has been one of Caitlin Clark's biggest fans sitting courtside at her games, with recent reactions of pure admiration. He has praised Clark on social media, stating, Hope y'all seeing what 22 doing at Gainbridge, which reflects his high regard for her talent and work ethic. This endorsement from an NBA star further highlights Clark's impact on the game. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for her to be here. Um, I think it brings a lot of excitement to the city and, you know, a city with a lot of young talent already as it is and adding her, um, you know, she's one of the faces of women's basketball and for her to be here and under the same roof, you know, I think is really exciting for me and I think a lot of people in our organization and uh, just look forward to, you know, uh, watching her grow throughout the process, watching her get better, um, looking forward to actually being able to cheer for her now. Uh, you know, now she's on, now she's with the good guys. The drive home safely. We're going to the city here again this Sunday afternoon with the Seattle Storm. Caitlin, Kelsey, Aaliyah, congratulations on making the All-Star Game. Three people from the same team is crazy and just shows what a bright future you guys all have. Go Fever. her growing reputation as a force to be reckoned with in the WNBA. The significance of Clark's performance extends beyond her individual stats. It was a testament to the team's resilience and determination. The Fever's ability to come back from such a significant deficit and push the game into overtime was a result of collective effort. Players like Kelsey Mitchell and Aaliyah Boston also played crucial roles, contributing to the team's overall success. This team effort was pivotal in overcoming the Dream's strong defense and securing the win. Caitlin's ability to hit shots from well beyond the three-point line changes the angles of the floor, which forces defenses to adjust their strategies. This creates more space for her teammates to operate, allowing them to move freely and find open spots to receive passes. It's not uncommon to see Clark hitting a deep three-pointer, then immediately setting up a teammate for an easy layup or open shot on the next possession. Clark is on track to break the single-season assist record, something that can be attributed to her consistent playmaking and vision on the court. She has shown an incredible ability to balance her own scoring with setting up her teammates, making her a versatile and invaluable asset to the Fever. So, from the Fever's early struggles to find their rhythm and the Dream's stifling defense, to Caitlin Clark's ability to do what she needed to do under pressure, this game was a masterclass in resilience, teamwork, and individual brilliance. The Indiana Fever's 104-100 win over the Dream was a testament to the team's ability to overcome adversity and Clark's status as one of the most exciting young players in the WNBA.